skilling feels like this. PVM feels like this. <sighs> but getting pets? Pets feel like this. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my fucking god, bro! I got the fuck. <laughs> Welcome to One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. Hello, and welcome to the fourth episode of Extreme One Pet at a Time, where we're kicking things off with a rather big level. 70 farming, that is a huge milestone. 75 and get magic trees, and we've actually got quite a lot of magic seeds. Um, I'm hoping I can get 85 by the time we're done with Winter Todd, assuming I don't get the uh, Phoenix pet soon. 65 Hunter. Flying through level. Oh, magpie implings. Are they useful? They might be able to get me some rune equipment, to be fair. That's pretty cool. Um, not too long to go until uh, until we get to 70 Hunter, which is really crazy. It'd be really nice to get to 83 uh, ASAP so that I can skip straight to glories. Um, that'd be really cool. Okay, I've come up with an absolutely genius idea. You can trade in spirit seeds to get farming contract pack things. So if I can do that, I might be able to kickstart the farming guild without thieving. Because it's kind of actually self-sustaining. You get a lot of seeds that you need for the farming guild from the farming guild. Um, so if I can trade in my spirit seeds, get the seeds that I need, crucially at this point, Nasturium seeds... Um, then I can, okay, so I've got four seed packs, let's, uh, let's have a look at what we are gonna try and get from these. Right, I'm slightly worried that these are going to be too high level seeds, because I'm pretty sure they're like the super duper duper packs, but I'm hoping they're gonna scale down to my farming level and I can get some crap out of them. Okay, right. Okay, we can certainly... Yes! Yes! That is massive. I am a fucking genius. Right, let's see what else we can get out of these. Uh, this is useful. The more just stuff I can get, the better. White berries, that's good. Uh, potato cactus, that good. Cactus is also good. Um, yes, yes. This is This is good news. This is fucking good news, right? Let's put all this stuff away that we already had. Oh, we don't have a land seed, okay. Oh, we don't have guam seeds either, that's interesting. Okay, we've definitely got that, definitely got that. Got one of those, right. And then we can open our last pack, see what we can get. Right, whole load of stuff. White berries, um, cactus, potato cactus, limpworts. That's big as well, because I can't get those from anything else in any meaningful way. But crucially, we got the Nasturium seeds. That's so good. Oh, that means we can start the farming guild properly without thieving. I'm hoping that this is going to keep self-sustaining. Um, but that spirit tree play, I am a genius. No fucking way! No fucking way! We just got the fucking phoenix! Oh my god! No way! No fucking way! Oh my god, 20 mil XP! No! No! That's my baby who sat on my lap at the moment. Oh my god! That is so sick! No way! We got it, right, let's have a look at the uh, at the collection log for Winstar. Thank you, Stella, for clapping at me. We got it. Before a thousand kill count, before the Dragon Axe, and at only 28 mil fire making XP. We're probably, at, well, I think, I calculated it before, we're at about 4.1, 4.2 thousand rolls, so we're slightly lucky, if anything. That's huge. That is huge. <laughs> No fucking way! Oh, I'm so happy about that. 
I'm so happy about that. Now, thank you, Stella. Now comes having to decide what comes next. Oh, okay, about 20 minutes has gone past. I cannot believe that we got this pet. I honestly just thought it was going to go on forever and I was going to go 200 mil. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the loot tab. So we've got uh, seven times of fire. I've got one equipped and I've got one charged. Um, nearly eight sets, of, oh no, uh, eight or nine sets of pyromancer, depending on the piece. The logs have been massive for birdhouse runs. Having these ready is also useful for um, desert treasure. Uh, we've got a decent amount of crafting levels out of these. They should last us a while in terms of teleport jewellery. So I've got rings of dueling, dig site pendants and games necklaces as well as these gems here. So that should last us for a while. We can obviously come back to Wintertod whenever we like but I probably won't at least for a while unless I'm really desperate for something specific to here. Um, we've got a lot of herb seeds which have been really useful. Decent amount of herbs, a useful amount of ores and such. Uh, the food is kind of lacking because I never quite got my fishing up high enough to um, make it worth my time. Um, but yeah, good grind. Got me 1.3 mil in cash. I'm going to turn all of these in for burnt pages um, because I think that will be more useful to me in the well short, medium and long term. But yeah, now we've got to make the big decision of choosing the next pet. And I don't really know what I'm going to do, so I might put the decision off for a bit and get to doing some questing and uh, combat because I've been locked out of combat essentially um, for ages but now I'm not um, so now I can I can start on so many things so many things oh what how what a big moment for the series this is knocking out some of the basics right now just as a thing to tide us over there we are shitload of hit points XP from Witch's house takes us up to 38 combat. Uh, it's so exciting that I'm actually going to be able to kill some stuff and do some actual proper quests. Ah, good times. I get so paranoid doing things like this. I need to buy some bread from this baker, but I always like worry that I'm going to like misclick the stall and thieve and then I'm stuck to the thieving bet. Like how, how badly would you have to misclick to, instead of going trade to go Ugh! like that. <laughs> Why did I just do that to myself? Oh my god, I nearly shit myself then. Okay, so I've already recorded this once, but I fucked it up terribly. Um, so I've just done the Pirate Pete section of uh, Recipe for Disaster to get me a thousand fishing XP, which has leveled me to level 30. That now means that I can use the lamps from one small favour uh, which are 10,000 each, on fishing to get level 35, and then I can go to Temporos, and as long as I don't turn in the rewards, I can do Temporos to get fishing XP uh, and you know possible loot rolls in the future without rolling a pet, and so I kind of unlock petless fishing XP. Okay, that was a bit long-winded. Oh, we just got 55 magic on a random teleport, so that's High Alk, that's pretty useful. Very useful indeed. Okay, are we excited for the nutty levels coming from this? So, 1,012 total and 39 combat. Where are we going to get to? 45 combat and 1,045. That is mad. 30 prayer. I think 43 prayer has got to be one of the goals uh, coming up. Um, but yeah, flying through the levels now that we're free. We're free from the ice prison. Right, we're risking it all to get 43 prayer here. We've got all our dragon bones on us and not enough food. So if we get attacked, we are fucked. Okay, 43 prayer. 
bit nervous. I supposedly had the bones to get like 45, but evidently I got unlucky at the altar. That is really bad. I supposedly could be getting 45 from that. I'm barely halfway through 43. That's crazy. Um, okay, right, let's, uh, let's get out of here then. Let's skedaddle. Okay, we just finished Monkey Madness. I felt like it was time uh, after I got the protection prayers, so why not? Uh, and let's go do Dyro's training. Is Dyro Dyro? Who knows? Um, and decide on some levels. I think I'll just go for strength and hit points as the uh, the uh, the 35k is. I think it's 35k and 20k in each. It's like 110 110k XP. Let's see what we get to. 1073 up to. Up to, up to, oh, 1127 total levels. That is madness. And um, we're ready for our full rune now, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't have full rune, but <laughs> we'll do our best to get there. As far as I'm concerned, if our end goal is Song of the Elves and Barrow's Gloves, and Monkey Madness 2 completed. There's three options for what we can do next. We can do thieving, we can do agility, or we can do fishing. Um, there are strengths to each of the options, so uh, fishing is an 84 hour pet, uh, but I can get food from it. Um, and I can multi-skill to 70 agility with it by doing uh, barbarian fishing. Um, thieving is good because it's required for desert treasure, monkey man is two. Sorry, that's my child in the background. Um, desert treasure, uh, not desert treasure two, uh, dragon slayer two, Ardun easy diary, secrets of the north. Uh, it's good GP. Um, it's a really fast pet with it and takes 26 hours. Um, and it makes herb lore easier because I can actually, uh... That is ridiculous. Thief from Master Farmers. Um, agility is actually the skill I need for Song of the Elves because I need 70. Um, and it will let me, uh, and, and staminas are obviously just going to be so, so, so good. Um, but it is a 132 hour pet. Um, so with all that said, we are going to train not fishing, we're running into this house here and we're gonna start thieving. Stella, be quiet for one second. <laughs> Love you, chicken. All right, um, okay, I'm gonna do thieving. Let's go, this is a big moment. And with that, we are committed to getting the thieving pet. Uh! Right, and that is the feud done, which is a pretty big quest for thieving, because it means I can blackjack once I hit 45 thieving. How close are we going to get to that from the 15k quest reward? Um, I guess it's probably 37. Yeah. Uh, blackjack, desert disguise. Uh, okay, right, nothing too interesting, but 37 thieving, and now we can go and do uh, fruit stalls until 45, and then we can do uh, bearded palm of each bandits. Right, that's 42 thieving, which is level 4 fish stalls, which means we've just unlocked the most efficient way to get the pet. So I might actually do a little bit of that um, to get our thieving up a bit, because what I've realised is I don't have access to the rogues, the rogues outfit, because I've only got 33 agility, and I can't really train it. Um, so, yeah, I think probably the best thing to do is just try and get the pet early, and then maybe go back to do blackjacking at a later date. Um, I think that might be the play. Okay, I believe I've set this all up with my alt, alt, alter, my alternative accounts now. Uh, all the market guards are trapped, I believe. I don't think the warriors get on you. Um, so this should... Hmm. Oh, fuck! I've not done the Fremenic... Is that what it is? I've not done the Fremenic Trials. You can't steal from a still while he distrusts you. Ah, oh, fuck, is that Fremenic Trials? No! I think I can do Fremenic Trials, though. Okay, I'll check if it is, I'll check if it is. 
Okay, yes, it is Fromnik Trials, um, so we're going to have to just knock that out real quick if we can. <laughs> That's so annoying. Good thing I moved my house here. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, it's all right. It's a bank there. Okay. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do? Um, I think there's a part in this quest where you have to chop a tree. I'm not sure if it's... Um, I'm not sure if it's like a pet rollable tree, um, but when we get there, um, we'll decide. And I and you can get the liar by killing some guys at like a one in seventeen chance. So we don't have to chop the tree if it's gonna roll the pet for us. Okay, I believe I should be able to buy a raw shark here to complete this quest. Yes, that is a game changer. Imagine you didn't have that and you had to get like seventy six fishing. I'd be so fucked. Cool, so I've checked the wiki anyway, but cutting this tree is not going to do it. it. It doesn't have a chop down option, which is kind of the like code for this can give a pet. It's got a cut branch, a bit like uh, a bit like the drama tree, it just doesn't roll. Um, so yeah, I don't feel too bad cutting this down, uh, getting a branch, and then we can create the liar. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Beaver pet roll avoided. Okay, that quest is so unnecessarily long, but this is going to get us a ton of XP and access to our uh, best in slot thieving, uh, you know, thieving pet method. Uh, loads of levels. Loads of levels. Really loads of levels. Okay, cool. Right, that's us done, and I'm going to go grab some energy potions, because now we should be able to thieve from these fishing stalls. Okay, I've got this all entirely set up now, which is good. Uh, so this is in theory what we should be doing, uh, and supposedly this gets us the pet in 25 hours, um, but we'll see about that. <laughs> What's that line in um, Pirates of the Caribbean when he's like, um, you heard of pirate movies, well, you're in one. Well, uh, Daniel? You've heard of YouTube videos. Well, you're in one. And here is the reason why we couldn't do the RD Easy Diary before. We need to steal from this guy's stall. Uh, I thought it was that guy's stall. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it was. Yeah, what? Was it? Steal a cake. Where's the cakes? Over there? Over there? Oh, no. Do I need to specifically get a cake? Okay, there we go. That's weird. <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's that done means we can finish the RD Easy Diary. Okay, so I can't complete a uh, fishing trawler run, but I don't think I have to to get this uh, get this diary. It just says go out fishing on the fishing trawler. So I think as soon as this boat leaves, I should get that task, and then I can just teleport away and not roll for the fishing pet. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Yep, there we go, got the task, got the music track, and now I should just be able to teleport away. Okay, and this is the last task, teleporting with one mil cash to the deep will do. Is this a mistake? We're all good. Ardoon easy diary, done. And Ardoon cloak? Oh, is it? Oh no, it's in here. <laughs> okay, Ardoon cloak? soon to be obtained there we go right let's use let's just test it out shall we and we just got 50 uh, thieving uh, we, I just decided I'm just going to do stalls the whole way um, till we get the pet um, uh, because I can't get the rogues outfit at the moment um, I don't think it's really worth me doing blackjacking for GP. I'll just do that after I start agility, whenever that is. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably the, uh, the the smartest way to do it. And this is actually decent XP because I'm a low level. Um, I think the pet is about a 1 in 37,000 on the stalls. Um, and you can see how quickly I'm actually thieving the stalls. Um, so apparently this pet should take about... 26, 27, 28 hours, which is really not a lot. Um, if I'm going to go dry anywhere, I hope it's here. Now, big level here, 52 Herb Law, which lets us do super energy potions, which is a huge uh, requirement for us being able to get this thieving pet in a reasonable time frame. Um, I have a lot of Aventone, maybe like 300 in the bank. 
and that we can turn into enough super energies basically to get the pet um which is which is big because otherwise it'd take 50 hours instead of 25 on average if we go dry we might run out um but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and here we go with our first super energies of the account oh, 117 xp each these are game changing 30 run restored per one as opposed to 10 from the energy potions that we've been uh, using so far these are so good Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought super energies were 30 each. Turns out they're only um, 20 each. Uh, dose. Uh, mm, that could be a problem. That could that could be a problem. We might have to focus a bit more on um, Herblor and Contracts more than I thought. I thought because they're like 300 or so Aventos I have equates to, what, 24,000 rolls on the table, I guess. Um, so we might still get the pet anyway, but it's going to be a bit closer than I thought, so we're going to have to make some more uh, energy potions one way or the other. Okay, so I've been doing some Guardians of the Rift in my spare time, um, because, as discussed previously, if I don't turn in the rewards, it's actually fair game to do. Um, and I got 54 runecrafting, I was planning on getting some lore runes, which are actually very useful for me, because I'm running out. But as it turns out, you need Troll Stronghold to craft lore runes. Um, so here I am doing that, and we're starting it off with Death Plateau. Uh, yeah, I've done that. I've done that, it said. What's the quest called, Death Plateau? Yeah, I did that! Oh my god. Okay, turns out the warning I, w I saw was not actually the right warning and the two warnings, so that makes sense. Okay, uh, turning in Death Plateau now. Do you actually get anything? 3,000 attack XP. Not bad. And there is Troll Stronghold. There we go. Right, now we can actually get ourselves some lore runes because we're down to 43. Just got level 50 mining at Guardians of the Rift. The only, like some of the only mining training I can actually do without rolling the pet. I need to get level 60 for uh, Lunar Diplomacy and level 70 for Song of the Elves. It is going to take so long. And there is 60 thieving, really getting through it. Um, Hopefully we can get this pet before 80. I think that's kind of going to kind of be the goal. I think rate is around 75, so we can get it before 80. That would be perfect. Right, I think we'll wrap it up there with 28.15.015 uh, uh, Firemaking XP, which is where we got this bad boy. Uh, we're up to 60 thieving already. Um, and our... Uh, uh, our rune crafting and other skills are absolutely booming at the moment. Uh, kind of medium term goal, well, kind of, yeah, my medium term goal at the minute is to get uh, Lunas um, so I can train crafting properly. Because um, there's actually nothing stopping me getting to do Monkey Madness 2 and getting a start on some Zenites um, alongside the pet grinds that we're going to be doing. Um, but yeah. Uh, winner of the 100 mil giveaway was this fella that guessed 28.5 mil, so only 485k XP away from when we actually got the pet. Um, and a, uh, a little uh, commiserations to this guy that guessed 27.5 mil. So if I'd got it 50, uh, you know, 16k XP earlier, it would have been him winning the 100 mil instead. Um, but I'll get in contact with that guy, and uh, in the next video, you'll see me giving him the money. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, good episode all round. Excellent episode all round. Um, Thieving Pet is so short of a grind, hopefully, um, that I would want to have that by next episode, by the end of next episode. But, you know, RNG is what it is, so maybe we won't. Um, but yeah, really productive episode. Loving this little fella. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.